right, man. Uh, Levi and Azorki is out again with a back injury, and Dan Campbell trying to downplay how serious the back injury is. Uh, let me uh, let me know what you girls got in the comment section. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video, right? Shout out to Troy Line Salt Playlist. And this ain't good at all, bro. If he, if he, you know, it looked like they, they drafted another broken up player. And that's the only thing I really feared about, about him. Two things I really feared. One is really, a really, a real, real fear was he sat out a whole year in college. You get in the NFL, something is bound not to go right. You cannot walk away from football for a whole year and then come back and pick it up and don't expect nothing to happen. Only, only true great players that know how to keep themselves in condition. It's, it's an anomaly. Like, remember that year Aaron Donald set out the whole training camp and they paid him and then he came out all guns blazing. But he was a professional. Lee Van Azorki don't even know what it means to be a professional. They revealed last year, Jim, uh, retired to Ty Walsh, whoever his name was. Defensive line coach revealed last year that he it was so bad last year that he couldn't even sit down in meetings with a hip and back injury. Now again, it's the back. It's looking like like I told you guys, Lions. I love the talent. I love the pick. I thought he was the best guy out there. Dude from Alabama is good too. He playing with New England, but Anna Zorky once again just seemed like another broken up player that they ain't drafted. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like they continue to draft. Uh, uh, broken down players. That's what it, that's what it continue to look like. And if he ain't playing, bro, they don't have much a, a chance this season unless Jared Goff play out of his freaking mind. Because what you got to understand, man, that means they don't really be relying on Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson and everybody else to create pressure. Like they got pressure last season on the edge, where they really didn't, where they really lacked was pressure up the middle of the pocket. And Anna Zorky is supposed to be that twitchy guy. Another thing I feared about him was them switching him from an even from an even front in college, taking the year off, and then playing in the eye front. That's totally different type of football. You know, and, and that's what the NFL is good for and the Lions is good for that. Taking the player and, and playing him out of his position. Playing him totally different. Play him on what he know how to play him on what he know what he's doing. You know, play on, play on, you know, where a strength set. They don't, they don't always do that. Josh Pascal, somebody who's supposed to help him out that three technique to provide cushion behind Levi and his orky, he injured. So now you expect the Aiden Hutchinson to come say today on the inside. He ain't played the inside since his sophomore year in college. Come on, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about well, he, he's going to be ready for the regular season and downplaying him and Julian O'Cora got injured. Man, they drafted him. He came off a broken freaking leg. He, They drafted him off a, bro a broken leg. So one thing the Lions going to do, if you, you know, they might not win games. They might not be 500. They might not have the best jerseys. They might have the worst owner. But one thing for sure that you can count on with the Detroit football Lions is they gonna they gonna draft some broken up injury prone players? They gonna reach in the second round. They gonna reach in the draft, and they, they just known for taking up broken up players. What is it? Physical strength? Can, well, they just draft injury prone players. Ain't no way else to put it. That's what they do. That's their M O. What's that Ti song motivation? That's their M O. Drafting broken up players where they drive players and they get here and they get injured and he's the second most important player behind behind Jared Goff because they really was lacking that push up the middle and they don't have nobody else that's going to get that push so you putting it all on Aiden Hutchinson your plan A and his orky gone he injured probably can't count on oh he's going to be ready in the regular season man come on this dude ain't played too many snaps in football and he already injured. Love this tape coming out. That nigga got drafted by the goddamn Dolphins or, or the New England Patriots. This dude would be a, 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 a damn a sack mass. He'd be a fucking dog. Josh Pascal, you drafted him. He survived cancer. He was injured during the senior bowl. 
then you draft him and he get injured again. You sign his contract, then he got injured. I believe he was injured before he even signed that contract, to be honest. That's what they not saying, and they okay with it. And they okay with it. You, you can't write this, bro. You can't write it. This is what the Lions are known for doing over many and many of the of course of, of time. They're known for drafting players and, and with Ryan Bros. They're known for reaching for guys. I didn't know Jelani Tavai have a shoulder injury before he got drafted. Jamison Williams with an ACL injury. Titus Young with mental health. It, it, it is it is truly amazing, bro. It is truly amazing. It is truly amazing, bro. The, I, I just think, man, they won't take chances on character players for real. People mess up. You got killers and you can got killers, drug dealers, robbers, boosters. You got somebody on your team. Grand theft. One of them dudes on your team right now. They, they, they believe in taking broken up injury prone players, bro. Moving up in the draft, reaching for them in the second round. Like, God, Lee. And then you get surprised they come into the NFL and they broken up. Come on, what they not doing in medicals? What if they training too hard? What if God's just there to steal a check? What is it? Because he was the second most important player to their season, bro. They needed somebody up the middle to push that pocket. That was going to do wonders for Aiden Hudson, Charles Harris, Romeo Cora, Austin Bryan. Now you probably going to have to see. I don't know. They're going to have to make a trade, bro. I don't, I don't believe Dan Campbell when he say this ain't that serious. I don't believe him. Second year in a row, he injured with a back. they going to have to go out there and trade for somebody that can push that pocket. You know, I'm thinking Dominican Sue really that guy. He more of a run support guy right now, but they're going to have to find somebody that's going to have to be on that, that three technique that's going to be able to get upfield. And, and Ali McNeil, not that guy. And they put all these resources into the defense and, the defense and offensive line. And you still ain't got nobody that's going to create pressure at the middle. Now you're going to put so much on Aiden Hutchinson plate. And Aiden Hutchinson is going to be doing every fucking thing. And when his stats don't say, oh, he's doing this, his stats not say he's doing that, then guess what? People going to say he a bust because they don't understand football. His plate is going to be full. But, yeah, you know, I ain't going to harp on it too much, man, because I'm very angry right now about it. But it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the trade lines. Talk playlists out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Uh, like I said, my link tree, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, three ways you can reach me through the link tree. It's the first link in the description. Support me on Spotify, Anchor, Cash, at Venmo, PayPal, all there. Appreciate the love and support. We go.